All right, let's take a look how to assign bib numbers in race tab four. Um, so I'm on the athletes tab here. I have my athletes put in here. And what I want to do is I want to click on this thing here that says bibs. It's going to bring up this window. And um, let's first take a look over here at the right hand side. <clears throat> and so we see the available bib numbers that we have. If you if you have a limited number of bib numbers, you might want to put that in. Um, what that also allows you to do is to assign a certain range. So let's say you don't want to start at one, you know, you want to start at a thousand, or maybe you have a gap in your range. It allows you to adjust what bib numbers are being assigned. In this case, I'm going to start from a thousand, okay? And I'm going to go to two thousand because that's let's say that's the last number of bibs that I have. Um, so that gives me a thousand and one bibs available. Um, the next thing that you can do here is you, is you decide the way that you want to sort uh, the bibs. Um, most often, and at least in cross country, not in a road race per se, but in cross country, you're probably going to want to sort by team first, and then maybe by gender, so that, and then by athlete name. Um, so that way, all your teams are together with um, with girls than boys. And, uh, and then sort of by athlete name. Now you could do this in a different order. Um, you could do gender, then team, and you know whatever makes sense for, for you. Um, you know some meets actually will assign uh, boys a certain bib range, say one to 500, and uh, girls 501 to 1,000. So you, in that case, you could do two separate um, assignments. You assign boys, change the parameters, assign the girls. So here's how you would do it if, in theory, you wanted to do that. Over here in the filter side, uh, we could assign the boys, click assign, and then do the girls and do the same thing. So this allows you to assign um, a certain, you know, cert only certain athletes. But in this case, I'm going to leave this as it is, and um, I'm going to assign them to all of them. I'm going to say assign and done. It's going to go through and assign all of those. And now you'll see that all of my athletes now have bib numbers assigned and they are in the order um, by team and by gender and then by name. So hopefully that, uh, that helps somebody out.